Hello, 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 everybody. You know, it took me a little while. Like, you know, sometimes I would just be guided to get a name for something. I don't, I don't sit here and just think, what name should I get for stuff now that I can do this? I just wait for it to come to me. I'm kind of surprised, though, that it took so long for it to come to me to get the name of who was responsible for January 6th, right? So that's who it was, Christopher Giddum. Mm -hmm. Ironic, though, the last name, right? Giddum. That's probably what he said. Messages and everything. Hit the like button for me, you guys. Let's see what the message is. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for all your support. Um, just thank you for my ancestors, for the talent. <laughs> all right. Myself. Talented and myself. Maybe this is some, maybe uh, some of you got law, myself, and law. I put up a really good front. What is this? What's, why is the law coming out here with myself? Are you dealing, are you dealing with something by yourself? Law? Or is this somebody with the law? Oh, previously the law. So you, there could have been a situation previous to now where you could have felt like you were all by yourself and dealing with a situation by yourself. I don't feel like it's like that anymore, though. Um, nothing will bring your spirit higher. Maybe you raise the spirits of people in law enforcement. Tell me about this talented, though. I feel like these are two people. Talented. Tell me about this talented here. Thank you. Are you talented at, at you know, because this would be stress, mental clutter, stress for me. You could just be really talented. Uh, Queen of Swords. You could be an air sign, no doubt. But I think you're just talented at getting yourself out of frustrating and stressful situations. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Yeah, but, you know, because there and you could be an air sign or a water sign, but this is like constantly. When I mean, every time you get um, betrayed or broken hearted or just small town fun, so a doll is this voodoo? Come on, are we doing this again? Or, is that what you're telling me, you guys? Because that, that's always the first thing I think when I see these knives in this heart. I ho always hope, are they still doing voodoo on you guys, man? Let's just find out. Is, is this voodoo doll, man? I'm so tired of, I'm so tired of you people. <laughs> I, I am. Because I'm going to get a name of who's doing the voodoo on whoever this is that it's for, okay? They're doing the voodoo on someone that is talented. All right. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm going to find out this person's name. Stay tuned. Allison. All right. Allison is doing voodoo on, on somebody that they know is talented. This person, Allison, puts up a very good front. I don't know if this person, Allison, is around you. They could know that you're gifted or that uh, you're, you're headed somewhere with the gifts that you have. Tell me about this, I put up a really good front. Libra, there could be a Libra on one side or the other. Um, she watching you or spying on you? Cried. Did something happen here where somebody acts tougher than they really are? You could have had your heart broken by this person or this person could have betrayed you. And... You could have cut this person off or said something. This person could have definitely spoken a lot of like a lot of smack on you. Who is this person or to this person? Was this a friend of yours? Well, how are these people connected? Social media? Yeah, I, I don't know. Is this a friend of yours, man? That's doing voodoo? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Huh? 
Uh, okay, this could, if this person is still in your life, this could be the kind of thing where they put up a really good front and acting like they're, they're happy for you, right? There could be something that you're, you're, uh, perfecting or working on a gift of yours and somebody could literally be acting like they're happy for you, that, that they're not stressed or they're not angry. Lied and said that you gave them an STD. Hello. Allison's doing the voodoo. Is she doing this on a male? Okay. I guess that you're going to know who it is. Vapor. Be careful who you vaping with. Entity removal. All right, so I don't know if you're listening to one or you need to listen to one. If you feel like there's something attaching itself to you, this could be your spine, the back of your neck, your heart. If you feel like this, uh, listen to a really good one is to go to your search bar. Somebody could be on speed. You could be, if you're, if you're an empath and, and this person is on like speed or crack or meth or something around you, you could be feeling like your teeth are numb or that you're feeling the effects of somebody who's on speed. All right. Uh, okay. So with the entity removal, the best one that has the frequencies mixed in it, that is the, for to move, remove entities and negative energy. Cause there are thought forms all over circulating every, did you know every thought that anybody has ever had is circulating all around us and never goes away because a thought is energy and an energy just keeps spinning and spinning and moving, right? It never stays still. So there could be some thought forms that entered into your subconscious that you don't realize that's affecting you physically. It could be, you know, um, thoughts of people wanting to kill themselves thoughts of people wanting to hurt somebody crying you could be crying a lot or feeling just really sad I think that you need to look type in your search bar on YouTube Elke Neher it's uh, E-L-K-E N-E-H-E-R and then just type in entity all right and and you it'll take you to an entity removal frequency and play that, whether it's on your phone, on a speaker, on just on your phone, headphones, it doesn't matter. It works the same either way. Play that. It's like 30 minutes long, uh, and you'll feel better within like probably 10 minutes. All right. You could have, I don't know, did you break up with this person? or You could have met this person. Like, I don't know, you could have had sex with this person. The Page of Wands is also like my sex. Natural beauty. Are you with somebody new? All right. So I'm guessing this would be uh, for a male and, and this ex, this, this female could be really good at um, acting like she's okay that you guys are split up. I do feel like you guys split up. There, there could have been some kind of message that came out or you got some kind of news about this person. But... She's, she lied and said that you gave her an STD, and um, I'm guessing that she gave it to you. All right? Tell me about this. Uh, lied and said that you gave them an STD. Oh, thank you. Divine Feminine? What? Libra, Taurus, or Leo? Or this is the wife. Did you walk away from your wife? You could. It's either a wife or a girlfriend. Because you walked away from this person, they could have definitely tried ruining your reputation for whoever this is for. I do feel like this is for um men. This message is going to be for a man. Family members making shit up just to try to upset you. Okay. Well, we're never surprised with that. He's running. He's running out. Yeah, did you run away from this person? Or uh, there's something that's changing you. This this person has been doing voodoo and spell work 
on you and this is why you feel this way I'm telling you as soon as someone listens to this entity removal thing I just told you to type in and listen to you're gonna feel different in like 10 minutes so, a lot of times we don't even realize we have something attached to us All right. you could be feeling just tightness in your chest or it, it'll feel like it sometimes it'll even feel like withdrawal symptoms tissue wait a minute I want to ask this first before I say something No, okay. It's like some crummy river. That's what I think. You don't you don't fall for it anymore. So she's probably doing spell work to try to get you to think of her or come back to her or to think about her sexually. This could have been a sex based relationship or marriage. Remove that shit. Because it, it could be manifesting on you as just uncomfortableness. If she's stabbing you in a heart with but this could be even in just in your relationship. Somebody could have actually broken your heart or, or you broke hers and now she wants revenge. Your hair is so straight and long that I can already tell that you love horses. So she could have long, straight hair, this girl. It, it, she could have a wig that's made of horse hair. You know, I guess you'll know. This is crazy. Let's get some... Um, you got a crazy broad that you let go of or you walked away from? Hmm? S or L? Okay. Impose. Is, that, is this the kind of person that just doesn't know how to leave you alone? If you were out with your friends, this feels like this type of girl that would just show up somewhere, like follow you and show up. It interrupt your... Um, your conversations come to your job it just feels like one of them M or V SMS text messages I'm going to see what else this means but that's clear that I don't know if she's sending you some crazy messages as well if she's sending you like threatening text messages I would say save that shit she could also have been sending, send, I'm sorry, sending, sending, um, your, your like messages saying that they're coming from you as well. Okay. I'm sorry, I got caught up in looking at something, my bad. Send my shooters. What? So this was, uh, this gained popularity after the death of rapper XXX. Oh my God. Hold on, clear that from me, Spirit. Is this the female wanting to have someone else shot? Yeah, for somebody, it's Allison. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to resonate with multiple of you. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Send my shooters. Whoever this person is, man, this Allison, she is not happy that you, you don't want to be around her anymore or that you don't want to be with her anymore. You do it naturally. Is she jealous of a divine feminine as well? Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Okay. This is why I'm thinking, why does natural beauty, like it's a man. Okay. Divine feminine. You could be a Libra or a Taurus or a Leo. But this is somebody that you gave the strength to walk away from their wife. This female is jealous of your talent, but I feel like you told this dude, whether it was a conversation you had or they saw you or heard you or something, they could have listened to you or watched you. You could have a platform. You could have, you could have like given this person the strength to walk away from this woman so that they would actually start focusing on their own life and their own talents. And she's pissed off. You don't may not even know this person. He, she could have been saying, uh, Okay, I get it. Hold on. 
He's been pulling back from her. She's wondering why. She found out that there's something that he heard or said, you said to him or just said and he heard it. And it, it stuck. And he walked away from his wife or a girl. All right. And now she wants him dead. Whatever this is that you do, she could do it too, or she could be trying to do it or something like that, and she can't do it like you. Philly is Cleopatra. It could be your girl here that somebody watched me. And I gave somebody, yeah, healed. Hmm. Hello. I think I'm going to shorten this because I just want this person to know that there's somebody named Allison specifically that is really bent on the fact that this dude walked away because of, I guess, me saying something. I'm not going to waste everybody's time. I'm just going to upload this at 16 minutes, 17 minutes. Okay, so for who this is for, I'm, I'm guessing that you're going to watch this. Be careful of this, all right? She, she's, she wants to have you shot. So I hope that you're using a pendulum. I guess, you know, most people who watch my channel, they do at this point. But just be careful of this person, man. If she's sending you text messages that are threatening, screen, like, like sneak screenshots of them and shit. Because you may need them. And if you may have to go to the police and get a restraining order against this woman. All right, we're not going nowhere. Love you guys. Philia.